മറുപടി ഇങ്ങനെ പറഞ്ഞു കാണും ഇവിടെ കടലൊന്നും അടുത്തൊന്നുമില്ല കടലിലോട്ട് ഇറക്കി ആർക്കിടാനായിട്ട് പക്ഷേ ഞങ്ങൾ വിശ്വസിക്കുന്ന ഒരു കാര്യമുണ്ട് ഞങ്ങളുടെ പിതാവ് ദൈവത്തെ അനുസരിക്കുന്ന ഒരു പിതാവായതുകൊണ്ട് ദൈവം ഒരിക്കലും ഞങ്ങളെ കൈവിടത്തില്ല എവിടെ കിടക്കുന്ന കടലാണെങ്കിലും ആ കടലിൽ ഞങ്ങളുടെ അടുത്തോട്ട് ഇങ്ങോട്ട് വരുമെന്ന് അവർ വിശ്വസിക്കുന്നുണ്ടായിരിക്കും our father believes in the god and he obeys god's order prevalavare nammada kunjingal kaanatte avare maadavidakal daivathil vishwasikkunavaraana avare maadavidakal daivathe anusarikkunavaraana obedient fathers obedient mothers aayitte namukku maaranaayittu namukku daivathode prarthikkam hallelujah let our children see that my father my mother is an obedient father and mother obedient to god രണ്ടാമത്തെ എക്സാമ്പിൾ എബ്രഹാം ആണ് ദ സെക്കൻഡ് എക്സാമ്പിൾ വാസ് എബ്രഹാം എബ്രഹാം ആരായിരുന്നു അറിയാമോ വിശ്വാസികളുടെ പിതാവാണ് അവനോട് ദൈവം പറഞ്ഞു നിന്റെ ഏകജാതനായ പുത്രനായി സഹാക്കിനെ എടുത്തു കൊണ്ട് പോയി യാഗം അർപ്പിക്കാൻ പറഞ്ഞു ഹല്ലേലൂയ എബ്രഹാം ദ ഫാദർ ഓഫ് ബിലീവേഴ്സ് ഹി വാസ് ഓർഡേർഡ് ടു ടേക് ഹിസ് ഓൺലി സൺ ഐസക് ആൻഡ് ടേക് ഹിം ടു ടു ദി മൗണ്ടൻ ടു ബി സാക്രിഫൈസ് അവന്റെ അനുസരണത്തിന്റെ ആ ആഴം മനസ്സിലാക്കണമെങ്കിൽ ഒരു കാര്യം നമുക്ക് അറിയാം അബ്രഹാമിനോട് ഈ മോനെ കൊണ്ട് പോകാൻ പറഞ്ഞപ്പോൾ എത്ര പ്രാവശ്യം അബ്രാമിനെ വിളിച്ചു So when he took the child for sacrifice, as soon as he was swinging his sword, how many times did, he, uh, did God call Abraham's name? Twice. Twice. Abrahame, Abrahame, Bala Nabil Kai Vekiru. Abraham, Abraham, don't lay a hand on the child. I am going to go to the first time. I am going to go to the first time. I am going to go to the first time. I am going to go to the first time. I am going to go to the first time. Hallelujah. God only had to call him once, Abraham, to take the child for the sacrifice. Then God recognized that he is going to put the sword down. So he had to warn him twice, Abraham, Abraham. അവനെ <laughs> and i said believed it avane ketti potti yaga yaga pedathana mollotu ketti kadathumbol veragane mollotu kadathumbol avan oru vaakku onum tirichu oichilla enathana enna pidichu vada kadathunnenu hallelujah the scripture doesn't say that the isaac argued back or anything like that when his hands were tied when his legs were tied to be sacrificed endha chorikkan yen ariyo you know why he didn't ask one ariyam ende pidavu vishwasam ullavan aanengil ende pidavu daivathe anusarikkunna oru aanengil idinne naduvilum enikku vendi oru alpadam pravarthippan oru daivathile saadhi hallelujah he knew that if my father is a believer if my father believes that god will provide god has provided <laughs> then he knows there is no other miracle that can happen mata pidakale ningal ethra verka ningalde kunnangalku kunnangalku oru oru madhriga aitirikkan how many of you can be an example for your children vishwasikkya oru kaaryam orkka devathal nalgapettadana nammada kunnangal believe one thing always remember that god gave you this child oru veerande kaiyile astram pole aanu nammada kaiyilekk kunnangale devam thannirikkunnathu an arrow in the warrior's hand is exactly how we have our children in our hand adu kondu namukku prarthikkya kartavi ാണ് <laughs> ഒരു നിമിഷം ഒന്ന് പ്രാർത്ഥിച്ചാട്ടെ കർത്താവ് മാതാപിതാക്കളാകുന്ന ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് ദൈവത്തിന്റെ സന്നിധിയിൽ സമർപ്പിച്ചുകൊണ്ട് ഏകാഗ്രതയോടെ ജീവിപ്പാൻ ദൈവത്തിന്റെ വചനം അനുസരിച്ച് ജീവിപ്പാൻ ഞങ്ങളെ സഹായിക്കണമെന്ന് ഒരു വാക്കൊന്ന് പ്രാർത്ഥിച്ചാട്ടെ 
स्तोत्रम 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 स्तोत्र महावर्षि मंजन सुस्त विदा दे में हाल लिया कर्तव्य हाल लिया तब जह वजन कहता तो बोले हाल लिया हाल लिया विन के लस्तंग देव दम रंग कोटत तो बोले हाल लिया राम मक्कले हाल लिया हां नल रीति कर्तव्य चाह दे सुने परवल पिच वड़तवान कर्तव्य चाह कृपचरी मारा कर्तव्य हाल लिया देव हाल लिया जंग उपदेश दम तो बोले हाल लिया मक्कले नल रीति वड़तवान हाल लिया और नल रीति नल वली का राखवान कर्तव्य चाह देव सुने कर्तव्य चाह हाल लिया तो बुना ताट परवल च प्रार्थिकनो जंगल लल्ला रे अनुग्रह चाश्वी के मारा कर्तव्य चाह हाल लिया कर्तव्य चाह विविध कृष्ण नल अनुग्रह पद तिरुवा कर्तव्य न कृपचरी मारांग तब चा अपने नौ तब पुत्र प्रार्थी किन्हें यीशु कृष्ण दे नाम तें इन प्रार्थित तलवारन में अम्मेन हालेलुया अम्मेन जेफल एंड सोफिया यू कैन कम हियर एंड स्टैंड हियर एंड वी आर गोइंग टू प्रेय फॉर यू स्पेशली बिफोर दैट आई वुड लाइक टू आस्क सोफिया टू शेयर फ्यू वर्ड्स ऑफ टेस्टमनी � thankful to god for his provision and his kindness towards our family because of his grace we are here like four members in our family now once i look back my pregnancy um journey it was really hard as you all know everybody pray for us like first four to five months i was undergoing hypermesis I was getting IV infusion and all. After that, a lot of issues came. A whole family got COVID, and all those times, your prayer and support was really with us. And Chris got sick. He got fever like 105 degree Fahrenheit, and he was unconscious for some time. And once we go to hospital, before we go, we told church, and the whole church pray for us. It was a Sunday, but once we reached the ER after half an hour, once the doctor checked his fever, he was totally normal. I can still remember; it's like God's miracle. It's nothing like any medicine what they gave. Nothing like anything, anything else. Only God helped them. After that, we got Olivia in January second. Um, first week, she got jaundice, so we were going back to hospital, and I undergone C-section, so I was in pain, and uh, but still we have to go, so we were on that journey. Then once they, but then that all that time also we asked prayer to the church, and you guys all prayed for us, and within a week she was good, and we were happy. Oh, from this moment onwards we will be okay, we will we can settle down, but. She had a birthmark and it grew up. Um, so we brought that one into concern to our doctor, and he said it's just a birthmark; it'll go by its own. But it didn't. Um, so once it was on third week, it started become very bigger and it become a sore on her, and she couldn't drink milk. She was really struggling. Whole night she cries. Usually babies cry, but that we were expecting. But this was like. She was really hungry. She she cannot drink milk. As whole family, like we were struggling till one month. We didn't get appointments with doctor. He was kept saying like it's a birthmark. It'll go away. But once it re she reached one month, 
we got appointment and once we go there they found out like and diagnosed like infantile hemangioma once i heard that it was not digestible for us um and they said like they have to treat with propanolol that's a medicine like it can cause to decrease the heart rate blood pressure and main thing is like if she don't drink milk enough she can go to hypoglycemia as a nurse i was like god why this is for me then doctor asked us to take that medicine and we were feeling not safe and we were requesting to get admit and he said no they have to do in the doctor's office so once we went there the, the nurse felt it's like it's not safe to give her because her blood pressure is already down so that time also i i called church and church prayed for us and she got admitted so that day pastor uncle and everybody came to our home i was really thankful to anna mandy like in her age she came to our home maria mandy sorry maria mandy came to our home and she prayed for us too and she was trying to say like god is in control without his knowledge nothing will happen we all are praying and and say to everybody came like another day chaila mama came so i i felt like even though my parents are not there some somebody is there for us but my family was really supporting us they were like and they were t- kneeling down to god and asking his help in this situation and we came home and she got cold and she because of that also she cannot drink milk her whole nose got closed and in front of me she was struggling to get breath so that the moment i told god god this is enough i can't bear more you gave this child to us please help her in her situation i don't want to see her struggling so as whole family we sat together and prayed to god and one day pastor ngol also came so we all prayed to god from that moment god was like showing his hand towards us that he is with us we are not alone and the doctors was advising her to take laser and god said no <laughs> they were asking her to take scopies so once i was asking them like they said the scopy will be like through nose and that will be like the same way how they are doing to adults and she was hardly 5 to 6 month old but god took away that one from her too she didn't go undergo those things so once i with her today as whole family we are really thanking you for all your kind prayers to our family and once i look at, look back my life i am really thankful for to my parents my parents really struggle to raise us both in the situation they really tried hard to get us this education as a daily wages person my dad don't have money to raise us but still he sent us in an english medium school so his relatives were saying why did you send your two girls to school once they turn 18 they will get married and they go you will struggle and stay like that you don't get nothing but still he was giving us good education and he sometimes he don't even eat his lunch he saved that money for our school and college time more than that i feel so grateful and thankful to them that they gave jesus to us because of that once they were not here with us also we know how to kneel down and ask god his provision like we can ask what god like what we need to do next 
and have the feeling that God is with us.